crafters and welcome to day eight of die cut december today i'm creating a birthday card using these dies i've got an aperture die a polaroid type frame die and a branch die these are the bits and pieces i'm going to be working with today and they're all made from hammered white cardstock this is a four by six inch ish card blank I've got a panel on top which is slightly smaller all the way round, and I've used the aperture die to cut this trellis shape. I'm not entirely sure what it's meant to be with this kind of bumpy bit but uh, I quite like the shape and I do like this trellis. It's something I picked up at a charity shop and it didn't have any uh, branding with it so I don't know where it came from or why it is the way it is but we're working with it today. This is the Polaroid frame and that's going to sit on there and I've got one white leafy die cut which is going to sit on there but I'm going to use this to cut another one from a piece of uh, mixed media that I do using this piece of hammered white cardstock and this embossing die and the main part is going to go behind the aperture and then I use this to cut a green leafy frond from it. I'm going to use embossing ink on this but I'm not going to emboss, I'm going to use luscious powders but I'll give it a, a brush with some cornflour first so that I'm in with a chance of getting the sticky bits where I want the sticky bits. And I'm going to put embossing ink on my embossing folder. Um, I'm just thinking which bit I want it on. I think I want it on the background, so I'm going to put it on the recessed part of this embossing folder. And just swipe it over without pressing too hard, so hopefully it won't go in the holes. We'll give it a few goes. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's meant to look. Uh, kind of distressed I think this technique so we will pop that there and run it through my cattle bag so hopefully there's some embossing ink on there and uh, I'm just going to lay it on this bit of card to try and keep things <laughs> relatively clean and tidy and just tap on this luscious powder this is green and it I think it's appropriate for a leafy frondy thing right we'll see how we get on there I've got this uh, sweeper brush these are just cheap makeup brushes from I think I got them from Superdrug There we go, I've got a very subtle green sheen on there. I'm going to give that a little spritz with water because I think you need to fix the pigment part of the luscious powder with water, otherwise it might brush off, although it should be fairly well stuck with the embossing ink. I'll just do it anyway. Let's see what happens. There we go. That's actually, that's made the pigment spread out ever such a tiny bit, which is nice. I'm going to give that a dry with my hair dry before I do anything else to it. Next, I'm going to add some more shimmer and shine with some of this teal metallic watercolour. And I'm also going to create a little bit of paint with this luscious powder because I want to do a little bit of smushing, I think. I've got my smusher. Mix that up nicely and then plop it on. It just gives it a little bit more variation and lots more shimmer and sparkle. And you get a bit of contrast so it's not all the same. There we go. I'm going to dry that with my hair dryer now. Now I'm going to cut a bit of this off 
so that I can run it through my die cutting machine and get a colourful set of leaves. But that leaves plenty to go behind here, like that. So I think what I'll do is I'll just carefully draw around this front panel and then I can chop the back panel down using my guillotine and I'll come just inside the pencil line so it's ever so slightly smaller than the front panel. So that will fit nicely on there and be hidden behind. I think I'm going to put some micro glue dots on this mesh because I do want it to sit fairly flush with the background and the micro glue dots I think will probably be the best way of sticking the trellis mesh bit. Because this is lumpy bumpy from the embossing I think I'll add tape and glue so that it maximizes its chances of sticking properly. And I need to put a bit more card there to cover up that little hole to keep everything level. So there we have our front panel. I'm just going to run my fingernail down the outside, not to distress it, but to kind of bevel it a little bit so it looks like it's been die cut. I think it just looks a little bit neater sometimes, a bit more finished. So that can actually go on to my card blank now. So the next step is to create my front focal point, I suppose, the, the leaf, the green leafy bit. So I shall die cut that out as is. I want this to have a bit more definition than uh, what it has at the moment. And I'm thinking a bit of distress oxide around the edges, brushed on gently. So I'm going to pop it on my grip mat, press it down. This really is quite useful I think for this kind of detail inking um, it just well when it sticks <laughs> um, it just stops things flying around I think and reduces the risk of uh, delicate die cuts tearing because it's fairly stable on the background it's not as grippy, I have to say, as my Alter New uh, stamp wheel grip mat, I think. I'm not sure why that is, but it does aid the colouring process. And this has got some nice uh, embossing texture on it because the, the die itself, wherever that went, has got these little slits in it which um, emboss the card. Uh, make it look like the leaves have veins but it also I die cut it from this which has squished it a bit but it's um it's still there so there's a bit of nice texture on this die cut I think that'll do I don't want too much maybe a little bit more on the branches or the stem or the twig whatever that bit's called <laughs> so let's assemble the card I think we'll just use glue for this bit I chose quite a big frame here, um, partly to mask the um, somewhat unusual shape of the edge of the uh, trellis die. Let's get that last little bit out of there. But it also gives a nice solid base for this to stick on. I 
do apologise for the sound of power tools in the background. I'm not sure which of my neighbours is uh, having building work done. It just seems to be everybody at the moment. And there's never a good time of day to, to uh, record without the sound of power tools in the background. So there we go. I like that. I've got this sentiment here, birthday wishes. And this is another one that I created in the Silhouette studio software with a couple of fonts that I downloaded from uh, defont.com I think I will add part of this one behind that one because otherwise it'll be a bit lumpy I might even just tuck a little bit behind again to give it a little bit of extra let's just get another bit of this card I think just a thin sliver to go behind the bottom layer to give it a bit of extra oomph as well and for something a little bit extra I'm going to add these green tiny enamel dots just a few to add to the vibrancy and the energy of the of the whole thing and we've got some pale greens as well which i think i'll add again for a little bit of variation And there we go, that's this card done and dusted and day eight of Die Cut December done and dusted. Do come back tomorrow for day ooh, nine. I'm losing count already. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more from me, do subscribe and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.